I'd like to talk to you again about uh, communication through body language. And it's, it's actually so true that body language is more powerful than the words that you speak. It's really important to remember that when you're talking to a client or you're with a client, your energy and how you are around them is going to be felt by her. So they've got nothing to do. They just have to sit there and watch you. That's all they do when they come into a salon. They can't even have coffee now. They can't have uh, magazines with COVID. But they've got lots and lots of time just to sit there with a mask and watch everybody around the salon. So your energy around her is going to be really, really important and it will be noticed. And just remember that, you know, soft skills, again, going back to my word, soft skills, it's no shame to be polite. I mean, to say something like, please and thank you, you're welcome to my salon. It's great having you today. Thank you for choosing me. Um, I'm delighted to see you. These are things that at the end of the day, the client loves to feel like that. I know that when I go into a place and people make that much of an effort, it makes me feel good. And it never feels false to me because I just think at least they're trying. They're making an effort with me here today. So this is what we are about. It's the old, uh, we'll say, it's the old part of our business. It's been there since the beginning of time. Since we first started hairdressing, our relationships and our connection with people is going to be... I've seen girls in a salon with me, right? And I'm being totally honest. I wouldn't have said they were brilliant hairdressers. And that's been truthful. They had massive clientels. Everybody wanted them. And, you know, I had the salon for so long, but there was about a half dozen of them that stood out in my mind. And a lot of the reason, I mean, I won't say that. I'd say 100% of the reason they had huge clientels and made a fortune was through communication and really genuinely caring that that client is happy, comfortable, enjoying the experience and wanting to come back again. So I suppose it's what you say, it's how you say it, it's your tone of voice, it's your eye contact, it's that smile, it's your listening skills. These are all things that you can learn, even if you find oh, it's a God, it's a lot, isn't it? It becomes so natural, it starts off with a few small changes in the way you approach clients and it grows into your way of being with them. And believe me, it's a joy for you and for her. It becomes a joyful experience and your clientele will build and they will all ask for you. I've seen it, it's proven to me over the years that sometimes I know your hairdressing skills are vital and I mean, I would consider myself a good stylist and I still consider myself a good hairdresser. But really, it's about the soft skills, it's about the communication and looking after her and she feels good. I never say he because I was actually always into you know, ladies hairdressing. So uh, I think that's important to mention. Um, and, I, and I keep mentioning, we'll be doing lots of other lectures. And I'll still keep coming back to this because to me it's hugely important in our business. So we're coming to the end of our lecture. I hope you found it helpful. I've enjoyed giving it very, very much. And I've had a lot of experience. I've been at this so long. I mean, I started hairdressing ridiculously young, in fact. I've never done anything else. Well, I did kind of a few things like around uh, life coaching and I did uh, psychotherapy and counselling. But really my main, you know, what I've always done is hairdressing. And if you think about it, the reason I went down for life coaching and I also did uh, training in counselling and psychotherapy is because it's around people and I love being with people so much. So I feel I have a lot to bring, you know, and I'd like to continue doing this and, and working in this area. I like it. I, I really enjoyed it so far. So what I would say to you and finished up the lecture is today, keep an eye on your competitor. I always kept an eye on my competitor. Not worried, but I like to keep a little eye on what they're doing. Then I always concentrated on my own business. I went back into my salon, I'm back into my business, and every morning and every day I looked after that business. You know, your competitor will do their own thing and they will, they will do certain things maybe better than you and you will do certain things better than them. But you specialize in some things and they specialize in some things. But the one thing that you will do is be unique. Don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to change something if it's not working. Don't be afraid to admit that you need to change something that's not working. Don't be afraid to learn more. Don't be afraid to say, do you know what? I did learn something from that. Even if it's only one thing, it's worth listening to. So, I'm going to finish up by saying one thing, another little ditty, an attitude of gratitude. Bring it to the table every day, you'll never go wrong.